Not bad. I'm normally afraid of changing my car's oil. Teleporter built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> oh, good. More bad guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. Hang on. Oh, sorry. Poor choice of words.
for what? I'll have you down in a minute. About time? Oh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I just need to find the button to lower you gently. Ah! Yeah, that wasn't it. Oh. Oh. He made me eat ice cream. Cold it! Oh. Studsky. Let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Starting from now... Because of your blundering around in Chan's salvage yard, he's disappeared, which is gonna make it somewhat tricky to arrest him. But I had to rescue- I don't wanna hear it! I'm transferring you to Sheriff Huckleberry's department in the forest until we've cleared up this mess. Does he need our help with solving a case? Ha! Doubtful. His district has the lowest amount of crime in all of Lego City, which is why I want you there, so you can't cause trouble. What about the Fury investigation? I've put my most highly decorated officer on the case, my protege. I like to think of him as the son I never had and who looks nothing like me. <laughs> if anyone could get results, it's him.
where you're going! Chase! Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah! Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy. Huh? I got you cornered. Huckleberry's in It's just you and me. Frank, Because I sent your boss front. on a wild you goose chase. Side. After a wild oh. goose! Say you will. Oh. Prayers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I, uh, the front door was locked? Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you were coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank, you'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. <laughs> Derek! Language! Well, then. Both of you be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself, but it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Come on, Chase! Let's go see the nanimals! It's not a petting zoo, Frank. Right. The sooner we find those animals, the sooner I can get back to finding Rex. Hey! Look! Horses! Do we get to use them? I guess. Can you ride a horse? It depends. Are these ones stick shift or automatic? Maybe you should just walk. See you later! <laughs> Chase! My horse is stuck in reverse! And it doesn't have a head! And it has a really weird-looking butt! You're sat facing backwards, Frank. Oh! That'd explain why he didn't like it when I fed him that apple! Thanks, Chase! See you at the farm! Sir. Huh, at last! You have to find my pigs. And this is why I became a policeman. They're mountain pigs. Incredibly rare. I'm going out of my mind with worry. Going. <laughs> have no fear. This is Chase McCain. If anyone's qualified to find your pigs, it's him. Thank you, honey. Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not like they can fly. Oh, well, they're mountain pigs. They could be anywhere! Ah! Oh. 
Oh, hey. Uh, I better stay here. In case they come back. Fine. I should be looking for Rex Fury. You'll need to look like a farmer, or they'll run off. I got some spare overalls and a hat you can borrow. Great. Thanks. I used to wear them to muck out the pigs. Oh. Then, I locked them in a cupboard because they stinked up so bad. And, uh, well, buried the key in a field for safety. Right. And now they're haunted! You can use my old tractor to plow up the key if you like. Might be the spot of repairing, though. Looks like it needs oiling. Only, I can't think where I left the oil can. I'd need to retrace my footsteps to figure out where that oil is.
Chase, I heard you got sent to my Uncle Duke's place. How's it going? Well, instead of searching for Rhett's fury, I'm searching for a key to some overalls which smell so bad they were locked in a cupboard. And I'm doing that so I can catch some pigs. Oh, <laughs> well, you can probably use your audio scanner to find pigs. Oh, well, now everything's okay. <laughs> I'll call you later. Thanks for the reminder, Ellie. This is too early for me. Ah, these don't smell so bad. Oh, wait, no, it just hit me. I better find these pigs then. I wonder how big huh? it is. So, you were saying you've really seen a UFO? Oh, yeah. I saw this weird, unearthly light, and then I got sucked up into their spacecraft, where they did strange things to me. Oh, what kind of things? They probed me. <gasps> you know, I mean, they asked me real search and question. Huh? Oh. Then they stuck a machine. La, 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 can't hear you. So, do you think I can have a go on one of your machines? Maybe, but not my brand new combine harvester. You've got a brand new combine harvester? Oh, I've got a brand new combine harvester. Will you give me the keys? No, I just said that. So you really have to get up at 5 o'clock every morning? Yeah. Even on weekends? Yep. Every single day. Wow! Even Saturdays? <sighs> So 
So why did you have a special hat for mucking out the pigs? Well, you've seen them. They can climb, can't they? Let me tell you, when there might be a pig in the rafters, you wear a hat. so easy to find, are they? Betsy does love getting up to mischief.
nice job. Filbert's always getting into trouble, aren't you? Silly pig. Oh, and if you're looking for that Frank feller, he went up to the castle. Said he heard a distant oinkin'. I heard oinking coming from somewhere up high. So either one of the pigs climbed up this castle, or whoever lives here has one of those weird laughs. that thing and if you fall off try to land on something soft sure Frank I'll aim for your head <laughs> it's weird how squashy it is my doctor says I should wear a helmet at all times
You were right, Frank. There's a pig asleep up here. Woohoo! Now, how am I gonna get you back down?
I fired him out of a cannon. Ha! As if! I'll believe that when I see a pig fly! <gasps> Wait a minute! Hey there, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. And uh, then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? It's someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. It doesn't involve riding animals around. And uh, then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? It's someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. He's starting to be a real c I shouldn't say. Just give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Ellie, I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle calls to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And maybe don't tell the chief just yet? <laughs> sure. Farmer Hayes? Ah, perfect! You ain't seen any of my pigs, have you? The ones I just rounded up. Uh, yeah. I turned my back and they hoofed it again. They'll be all over Lego City by now. If you could just keep an eye out, I would be indebted to you. No hurry or anything. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Great. And if you do find one, just pop them back in the nearest pig cannon, and they'll be fired right back here. Okay. Huh? <sighs> Ellie, 
I'm at the museum, but I don't see a way in. Yeah, I checked the blueprints. The only way in is from the rooftop, but there's no way to climb up there. It's okay. I've got an idea. Are there any taller buildings around here which can be climbed? Maybe the art gallery. Why? I just got hold of a chicken. I can use it to glide from the art gallery's roof to the museum's. Wow! That is not a sentence I thought I'd hear today. Good luck, Chase. I am feeling good. Yeah. cars or something over on Apollo Island. I better not miss it.
Don't worry about this job, Chase. Consider a payback for how much the gift shop charged for that dinosaur pen when you were 11. Feathers. Four letters. Hmm. Hmm. Down? No, across. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of 500 miles an hour. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell out the back of the plane, reaching a terminal velocity of 500 miles an hour.
This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine. Discover. This steam locomotive was unveiled at the opening of Lego City's very first train station. It wasn't used until two years later when a second station was finally built. I can't believe I almost got ran over in a museum. This car holds the world speed record. When it was being flown from the factory, it fell. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found. This is the largest known silver Lego ingot to ever be found in the Bluebell Mine, discovered by Silas Fletcher when it fell on top of him. It was kindly donated to the museum by his next of kin. This steam locomotive was unveiled at the opening of Lego City's very first train station. It wasn't used until two years later when a second station was finally built. This is the historic Lego City track from Tricky Jimmy to no less than 12 separate customers, all of whom neglected to notice that their receipts clearly stated carriages not included. This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are made...
This oil derrick is over a hundred years old. Oil derricks are named after their inventor, John Oil. This pirate ship was painstakingly reconstructed from 840. The dinosaur exhibit? Great. The T-Rex is bound to be in there. Professor Patrick Palmer was the founder of Apollo Island, a scientist since he was eight. It I've probably got enough bricks to use that super build this now. This diorama depicts the gathering of moon rocks, once thought to be an exciting new building material, as strong as normal rock, but six times lighter, until someone pointed out they'd been weighing them on the moon.
Well, that certainly isn't a T-Rex. This mighty dinosaur has a series of blade-like bones running along its back. Some scientists think it may have been used as a tool by bigger There's dinosaurs no to way cover I'm red. coming out there! Oh, great. They haven't built the T-Rex exhibit yet. I better find some super bricks. You know, this is exactly how stuff like the Brontosaurus happens. is impenetrable. Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the... Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing what scientists believe our future will look like. Pending completion until... I'm staying nice and safe in here, thanks. You can hop and pop all you like, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> Give up! You'll never get in! Can I smell burning?
This dinosaur evolved extensive armor plating on its head, either because it was preyed upon by other dinosaurs or because it was really clumsy. Coming soon, an exciting diorama showing the many uses of hay. This diorama depicts Robin Hood's less popular cousin, Robin Hoodlum. While he stole from the rich, he never really got around to giving to the poor, probably because he was too busy yes, stealing from bullseye. them, too. Yeah. I've got enough bricks to build that T-Rex now. This diorama depicts two cavemen in fire and the wheel. Due to complaints uh -huh. of inaccuracy, we have removed the third uh -huh. caveman, previously shown uh -huh. inventing the laptop computer. I found a lot of super bricks. Hmm, hey, maybe there's something I, I can build around here. I can use them to build a T-Rex. That is lucky. This Sphinx is an exact copy of the one found this mummy's near the pyramid, cursed. except with some of the missing details restored. When we asked museum visitors to vote on whether ours was better than the original, it won by a nose. These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill.
These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the party... These rare totems have been designed to spin around at great speed, mimicking the tribal dance of the people who built them. However, they are unable to mimic the latter stages of the dance where the participants fall over and moan about feeling ill. <laughs> The Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest carnivores to ever live until the... That's right, Chase. Keep it low key. I got the T-Rex out of the museum. Do you want me to take it to your private buyer? Nah, he don't want anyone meeting him but me. I'll send you the location of the drop-off. Okay, Vinny. Hey, I know you're eager, Chasey, but this guy's bad news. Tell me about it. Sure. He's real impatient. Like he needs all this stuff yesterday. Eh, this whole business has changed. Time was, you took stuff to make a profit. But this feels different. Like there's something bigger going on. Yeah, listen to me. Going on like my mother. Just drop off that T-Rex. Hey, Chase. Are you busy? Well, I'm kind of... Great. Are you getting close to finding my dad? Uh, yeah. I'm on a job for a guy who I'm sure is working for Rex. Once I find Rex, I think I'll find your dad. You really think Rex has my dad? Is it because I testified against him? Rex is the kingpin. He must have something to do with your dad's disappearance. Uh, but I don't think it's because of your testimony. If it was, he'd just grab you, right? That's what I'd do. What? You know, if I was evil. Which I'm not. So what is Rex's connection to my dad? I don't know. But once I do know something, I'll call you. Thanks, Chase. The T-Rex is at the drop-off point, Vinny. That's great! Yeah, just one more job and I can get my payment and wave goodbye to my private buyer. That creep. You're gonna meet him? I don't envy you. He sounds mean. Yeah, some people. They ain't like us, Chasey. They don't have class. Do you need help with this job, then? I don't know. I mean, the other thing he wants is some boat from the fire department. Well, I got guys who can drive it, but, uh... What's the problem? The keys to it are in the fire chief's safe. The only people who can get near to it are firemen. Whoever does the job would have to go undercover. You reckon you could do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I've obviously never done that before, but I think I could do it. Then the job's yours. Thanks, Chasey. I won't forget it.
Hey, Chase, I've got some great news. Oh, hey there, Frank. What is it? I have been promoted! What? Wait, who by? Sheriff Huckleberry. He's made me head of tree-related crime. Ah, are people stealing a lot of trees? Not since I've taken over. So, what you up to? No, oh, the usual. Actual police work. I'm just going undercover for Vinny as a fireman. Aren't you already undercover? So, now you're undercover, undercover? Whoa! I'm going to get one of the fire department's boats for Vinny. Oh? And once I've taken it to Vinny, he's going to go see Rex, and I'll follow him. Okay, Chase. As long as you're not stealing any trees. No, Frank. Speak later. Aye, aye! Over and out! I'm gonna get in trouble for that. You here to join the fire department? Head on in! Okay, recruit, what is your name? Pete. Peterson, sir. Right, Pete Peterson. Being a fire officer is all about team effort. Team effort! Isn't that right, McGurkey? What? Don't help him. It means knowing what your fellow officer is thinking. What is my favorite flavor of cake, Pete Peterson? Uh, chocolate? Even the new recruit knows! Ah! Well then, Pete Peterson, we'd better start your trade. What are you doing, man? I haven't given you any instructions yet! Sorry, I, I got a little excited. Fire extinguishers are not Toys! They are not to be played with! Follow me over here. Whee! This is Officer Lopez Delgado. Hola! He'll give you your basic training. I've got to write a talk on the importance of buying the right flavor of birthday cake. All right, Pete, is it? This is wonderful. <laughs> First of all, we'd better get you looking like a fire officer, hadn't we, huh? <laughs> there is a shiny new uniform in the middle garage. If you can get the door open. I guess I just pulled this lever? Looks like someone forgot to finish painting the That garage door would look a lot better with a lick of paint. Someone really ought to finish painting that garage door.
Yeah, that would have been too easy. You look as bright as a button. <laughs> okay, we're going to start things out nice and easy. Oh no, look! A raging inferno has erupted. Oh, if only someone could put out the fires with an extinguisher. Gasp! Do you think you could do that for me? That's great! Well done! You will be an asset to us, as there have been an unusual amount of fires of late. Although, most of the recent fires have been burning down properties of small-time criminals, it is almost as if someone wants to put their rivals out of business. Wait a minute, that door is shut. Oh, oh. And an innocent valve handle is trapped behind it. Oh, look here, fire axe. If you could somehow use this axe to get through that door, don't worry, you won't get into trouble. Speedy! <laughs> oh, well, aren't you big and strong? Good! Oh, great heavens! Look! One of your soon to be comrades has accidentally turned their hose pressure up too high. But who could help him? Who might have some kind of valve? Yes, do you see where I'm going with this? Some kind of valve to lower the pressure. Ooh. All right, you lasted ages. That's gotta be a record. Uh, muy bien. You made short work of that, didn't you? Let us go to the next area, shall we? What excitement could await us in there? Open the gates. Several of your co-workers are trapped on that building! 
king. Am I not the most excellent actor? <laughs> now, tell these other officers which way to carry the trampoline so you can catch your stranded friends. Go left! Keep going left. Left some more. Keep going left. Stop! Geronimo! Ha-ha! <laughs> Excellent catch! Right! Get ready! Oh! Ooh, you almost lost one! Go right! Get ready! Oh! Ooh, you almost lost one! Get ready! Yay! Got him! Right! Right again! Good work! Hey, hey! Nicely done! Go left! Wait there! Woohoo! And that is the last one! Well done! Now that they are safely down, we can put out those fires up there. But they are too far and too ferocious for your own extinguisher. But not for these! Yes! They are impressive, are they not? Say hello to my massive friends! Hop on to one of them! Excellent! The water cannon can squirt a lot higher than your extinguisher can. That's half of them! Aren't you, Officer Awesome? Go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, quickly! A most urgent situation has arisen! What is it? Oh, you're acting again, aren't you? Yes. Our station mascot, Admiral Pom Pom Moggins III, has become trapped on a ledge! You want me to rescue a cat? Oh, yes! Now you will truly learn what it is to be a fire officer in Lego City. To rescue cats is our highest calling. Because they're usually on top of buildings. But first, you will need some way to get up to him. Hmm? Go on! Build a ladder! I hope my training's almost finished. I've still got to get to the fireboat. Then, once Vinny's got the boat, I can follow him to Rex. It's almost time for Admiral Pom Pom's nap. Is this why there was a stinky fish in the pocket of my uniform? Yes. Also, in case you get hungry. Yuck.
Admiral Pom Pom took over from our previous mascot, Commander Claus. And believe me, Commander Claus earned his name. He was quite the contract negotiator. <laughs> Okay, well, we're all done here. I'll see you inside for the chief's birthday party. There's lots of food! Wow! They've done this place up really nice. Huh. Maybe if we did the same for Dunby's birthday, he wouldn't be such a grumpy pants. Hey, JC, how you settling into your new job? Good, but I'm gonna have to get the fire chief out of his office so I can open the door to the boathouse. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, kid. The last person who disappointed me bought the farm, you know? You mean? Yeah, even after I told him it was a terrible investment. Anyway, don't sweat the fire chief thing. You'll figure it out, kid. Everybody has a weakness. It's no good. I can't beat it. The heads keep spinning and I can't aim my extinguisher straight. I had the exact same problem, which is kind of worrying, seeing as we're meant to be firefighters. You know, Chief Burns is such a party pooper. Yeah, just because we got him the wrong kind of cake. And blew out the candle before him. And opened some of his presents. And congratulated him on his 50th birthday, when he's only 40. And got him a Mother's Day card instead of a birthday one. And got his name wrong on it. I mean, what's wrong with that? He is so touchy. You gotta aim for their mouths. But only when they're facing you.
Hey, you did it! Oh, well done, man. That is outstanding. What's going on out there? You people better not be enjoying yourself on my birthday. I better not see anyone smiling down there. Who would have thought being a firefighter would involve so much paperwork? Not me. Right. I guess I'm done with work for today. I should have brought a book with me. You ever snuck into Burns' office? Almost. I got up on top of the light fitting outside it, but I...
time to find this boat and sail it away. Over here! Over here, Chase! Come on, get over here! 
How did you guys get in here? Uh, we swam. He swam. I used the back door because I'm not a simpleton. Oh, man. I just went through basic training to get in here. And it's a good thing you did, because we're stuck on this side of the fence. Uh, yeah. And we can't open that big door to get the boat out of here. Leave it to me. <sighs> like we have a choice. Ah, I like him. Boss said you should get on the water cannon. That little joystick does. Don't know. Try moving it. Move! It don't do nothing. See? Stuff, JC. Nah, it was nothing. I want you to know you're my go to guy now. I really trust you. Aw, thanks, Vinny. And now I can finally get that private buyer off my case. <laughs> Time to arrange a meeting. I'll be in touch afterwards.
And all I need to do is follow you to Rex Fury. What could go wrong? I told you I'd trust you to find my dad, Chase. Don't you trust me? What? I, I'm kind of... Look, I know you've got cops keeping tabs on me. You do? I mean, what? I haven't arranged anything like that. I have somewhere I need to go, Natalia. Don't pretend, Chase. I'm at the hospital, and I can see them watching me from across the road. What do they look like? Uh, well, really smartly dressed for cops. They're wearing black suits, and they're standing by an unmarked black van and a limousine. They're not cops, are they? I don't think so. And now they're coming towards the hospital. Chase? Yes? Help! Natalia? Natalia? Really? This again? Why didn't I eat breakfast? Get in trouble for that. Oh. Yikes, things really went from bad to worse. This must be where the hospital stores all its huge fires.
I'm trying! You ain't kidding! There's no way to climb up there! But I could climb up there. Ellie, I think I'll need another favor soon. What is it this time? Does the department have a safe house anywhere? So people are after Natalia, so she can't go back to her own place. All the safe houses are booked up, I'm afraid. Chan's guys are in them, selling each other out. But, uh, if she doesn't mind couch surfing, she could stay at my place. Is it safe? I've got a big dog, although the only way he'll help is if the bad guys are allergic to him. Well, it's better than sharing with one of Chan's guys. Thanks again, Ellie. Not a problem. I'll head there now. Do you need backup? No time. I can handle this.
My legs better not get tired halfway up. Must not get to her. Mortal Peril really brings out her sarcastic side. Hey! Well, okay. I hope this chicken can take both of our weights. Are you saying I weigh a lot? Yes. I'm choosing this exact moment to discuss how much you weigh. Where's the hospital's helicopter? The one day it's not here. Of course, a helicopter. Oh, sure. The hospital's helicopter is always buzzing around the building when I'm carrying files it can blow out of my hands. But as soon as I'm getting pursued by mysterious men, nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Keep back. I'll deal with them. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Get in. Really? You can fly a helicopter? Let's find out. Who were those men? No idea. They didn't look like Chan or Vinny Papalardo's guys. They don't even look like Rex's thugs either. The only time you see them in suits is in court. Are they the people who took my dad, Chase? They could be. But I thought Rex was behind that. What does your dad do? He's a professor. He worked on Apollo Island for years, but he's been on a private research contract for the last few months. Oh? I don't know the details. And he kept his cabin locked up tight because of the precious stones he was working with. What's going on, Chase? I'm not 100% sure. Chan and Vinny were working for Rex. These other guys? Maybe Rex is working for them. I'll find out. But first, I'm taking you to a friend's place. She's called Ellie. You should be safe there. Thank you, Chase. Huh? So it looks like I know how to fly a helicopter then. And now I know that you have to switch off their engines after you land. I suppose I owe you an apology. I know you've been trying to protect me. 
I was just worried about my dad. And I know you didn't mean to reveal my identity during Rex's trial. Oh, right. So why have you been such a pain? Well, I still wasn't happy about it. When I first met you, I trusted you completely. I, I might have even had some feelings. So when you just left like that... Feelings? <laughs> Shut up. So, would you like to see a movie sometime? <laughs> you're actually kind of sweet, Chase. But you're married to your job, and I don't date married men. How about coffee? Just find my dad, Chase. Tea? A tiny cookie? Ice cream? Ice cream. Vinny's meeting with Rex. Please don't have left the restaurant yet.
Hey there, Chase. Vinny's been telling me how you're his number one guy now. Don't worry, I ain't jealous. Is he around? He, uh, said something about meeting some private buyer guy? Yeah. To tell you the truth, I'm a little worried. That guy he's meeting, he used to run all the rackets in this city before he got put away. Now he's out? I just hope he ain't trying to cut Vinny out of the equation. You want me to make sure Vinny's okay? Vinny would disown me if he knew I'd sent someone to look after him. Right. So he can't know. All I got was that they were meeting outside in Paradise Sands. Get up somewhere high, and with a bit of luck, you'll be able to see him. Right. Thanks, Mo. No, thank you. So this is Frank's parents' hotel. They must be loaded. Right. I need to get onto the rooftop. Ugh, back in five minutes. I don't have five minutes. I guess I'll have to get up the hard way. If you ain't a gym member, you ain't coming in here. I am a gym member. Of course you are. I bet you don't even know how to use that fitness equipment. I guess you must be a gym member, even though I don't recognize you and you haven't provided any ID.
staying at my folks' hotel? No, I'm looking for Vinnie Papalardo and Rex Fury. Well, I can check the guest book. That, that isn't good. Never mind. Have you seen anything suspicious happening from up here? No. Apart from the sinister-looking helicopter that flew overhead a few minutes ago and then landed on the building opposite the Herbert Hotel? The Herbert Hotel? Then that's where I'm going. Hey! What's wrong with my parents' hotel? Is this about that guest who ate the chocolate on his pillow and it turned out it was a cockroach? See you, Jace!
way! You're the guy who took my car and ruined our party! Oh, brother.
I'm getting really good at using those catapults. Another catapult. Awesome. Oh. I need to get to the back of the roof so I can see where that helicopter landed. That's Rex. Vinny is working for him. I'll never get over there. What are they saying? Another job! We had a deal! I got chance to get you all them vehicles. I got you that T-Rex. I got you the bell pepper emerald. And that boat! 
Do you know how much trouble I had someone else go through for that? Well, I've still got more stuff on my shopping list, Vinny. And you are gonna get it for me. I ain't even been paid for the other stuff yet! I have overheads, you know, and them paintings you gave me ain't any good. What do you mean? They're Bricassos! Really? They look more like faces. Ah, just get the stuff, Vinny, or I'll have to replace you. Rex Fury makes my blood boil! We do all the jobs, we take all the risks, but he treats us like monkeys and gives us... Uh... Peanuts? Chase, what did you hear? Nothing. Except you mentioned Rex Fury. Eh, yeah, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for, and he's just pushed me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the Papalatos like this. We're gonna do a job just for us. What you got in mind? The biggest cheese in Lego City. The Von Stufenberg Cheddar Truckle? Not that kind of cheese. I mean Forrest Blackwell, property magnet, fridge magnet. Jobs. We take all the risks, but he treats us like monkeys and gives us, uh... Peanuts? Chase, what did you hear? Nothing. Except you mentioned Rex Fury. Eh, what does it matter? Yeah, that's the private buyer I've been working for, and he's just pushed me too far. Nobody gets away with treating the Papalatos like this. We're gonna do a job just for us. What you got in mind? The biggest cheese in Lego City. The Von Stufenberg Cheddar Truckle? Not that kind of cheese. I mean Forrest Blackwell, property magnet, fridge magnet, and king of this city. Forrest Blackwell? I'll tell Mo to take the fire boat and meet you. Get moving. Okay, Vinny. I can't blow my cover yet. Not until I've arrested Rex. Chase? I figured this tunnel would look fancier, seeing as Blackwell's so rich. It ain't finished, is it? Blackwell lost interest in building stuff after the scandal. Oh yeah, what was the deal with that? What? Have you been on holiday for the last few years? <sighs> Not quite. Blackwell was gonna build this massive apartment complex with a mall and everything up in Bluebell National Park. But then someone finds some sort of rare squirrel there, so City Hall stops it. By then, he'd already spent billions building Blackwell Bridge to connect the park to uptown. 
That must have been embarrassing for him. Oh, yeah. He didn't take it kindly. Vowed he'd never build anything again. Right. Now, we gotta be quiet. I'll wait here and keep the engine running. Get up there, get the stuff, and get back down. Okay. Really quiet around here. Maybe Blackwell security guys are on holiday.
Okay, Chase. Don't take anything too valuable. Just find something shiny. If I was a secretive billionaire, where would I hide my vault? Oh, right. Chopsticks go again. Yeah, that won't attract more attention. Now that's a sensible place to hide a vault.
Only one more layer protecting the vault. Uh-oh. Company! Open sesame! Or just open, if you have a nut allergy. Whoa, that looks like a lot of money. No wonder Vinny's had his eye on this place. I'm still trying to shake these guys off. Did you get out? Yeah, but I've got company too. Okay, meet me at the south end of Promenade Gardens in downtown. Right.
Mo, are you near Promenade Gardens yet? I wish. These bozos had people waiting for me at the docks. So I ain't gonna be there anytime soon. Get to Vinny's. I tried calling him, but he didn't pick up. Not even just to yell at me. That ain't usual, Chase. I'll make sure he's okay. They'll be fine. What is going on in there? Oh, you guys are making a big mistake. When Rex finds out you did this. Ha ha ha! Who do you think sent us? What? Why did he... I'm sorry. What's that? I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> I broke the handle. <gasps> I said... Why... Did... <laughs> I gotta get Vinny out of there. That's 
need to break the latch off to get Vinny out. Sheesh, Finny. I know Rex has turned on you, but there's no need to go to pieces. <gasps> Thanks! The leader locked himself in the ice cream factory. You can get in through a secret passage in my office. Whew. I want to know why they did this. What? One of those worms has drawn a mustache on my mother's painting. How could they do that? Do you know how much I had to pay the artist to leave her mustache off in the first place? She'll go crazy if she sees this! Why is it so dark? Is it nap time? by standing up.
Vinny really likes ice cream. That is a pretty unconventional way of locking a door. Hey, how did you get in here? Ah, eh, what does it matter? You can't hurt us! If you're after an ice cream, this place is closed for business. Permanently! What you doing down there? Making yourself a Sunday? <laughs> I can still see you in that box, you know. Hey, that's cheating. You 
to. Stop it! <laughs> Just stand there! Stop it! Get it! Oh, stop messing around down there! You guys are useless! Right now you're beginning to get on my nerves. What are you up to? This is your last chance. Okay, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, that's right. I've been being nice up till now. <laughs> Sorry about the frosty reception, mister. What's he doing? I can't see him. Pressing buttons and turning valves. you guys do anything right? What the... Uh, ow! That hurt. Oh! Hey, get me out of this thing, or Rex or... Rex ain't here. Why did he send you guys? I ain't telling you nothing. It's okay, Vinny. I think I know how to make him talk. Eat some more. Uh, oh, yeah, that's so delicious. Ow, ow, ow. Great freeze. Here comes the airplane. Mew. No, stop. All right, I'll tell you anything. Where's Rex? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But I know how you can get to him. I meant to do some kind of job tonight in the construction yard at Paradise Sands. You could take my place. Y you kind of look like me. Hey, you are the same height. If you're lying... Don't worry, Chase. I'll keep him here. I got a few questions of my own I'd like answered. Yeah, no, no. Whoa, is that the blueberry and pomegranate ice cream? Oh, that stuff is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. That is going straight to my hips. Can I get some sprinkles? Ellie, 
You can tell the chief I'm getting very close to Rex now. Oh, that's really sweet. Frank? Yeah, I'm looking after the evidence locker for Ellie. So, you like Rex, do you? No, I mean that I'm getting close to arresting him. I found out where his gang's going to be tonight. Where's that? Construction yard near Paradise Sands. I know the foreman there, Albert Spindlerooter. He rebuilt my house after I blew up my house when I tried redecorating my house. Did you know you shouldn't rewire bathtubs? Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm replacing one of Rex's guys on a job there. Tell Ellie for me. Yes, sir!